This video is about Microsoft Word 2013 and you can click on the start button and just type Word 2 actually Word Space 2 and it will find Word 2013 it will highlight it in blue you just press enter and it will open up and this is just a review of your opening screen here and your user interface. So we'll just quickly go over what is here. We have something called the Quick Access Toolbar. We'll talk more about that. The document name is at the top of the application. Once we save this with the real name, that will no longer say document one. We have a help button. We have a minimize button and if we press the minimize button, the entire window will come down and sit on the taskbar. If you click the word icon on the taskbar, that will bring your program back up to its last state. And what I mean by that is Right now, this window is restored. I will maximize it. That means it takes up all the real estate it can on your monitor. Restore means that if you click this, this window can now be sized and this window can be moved. Personally, I'm not a fan of the name restore because no one remembers it. It's just not intuitive. But that's what it means. It means that your window can be moved and sized. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to resize this. I'm not going to maximize. The close button will close your document if you only have one open and your application if you only have one document open. This is your blank document sitting here and you can see a blinking insertion point that is your cursor, the location of your cursor. We also, uh, let's just continue around here, we have a little control called collapse the ribbon. This is the ribbon across here, this area. The ribbon is divided into tabs and each tab has groups of commands separated by these vertical lines. We'll be talking about those more. You can collapse the ribbon and if you do, you get a little bit more space. When you come back to view or anywhere, it will appear again and if you want it to stay, you can click this pin button to make it stay. Now many beginners, if they can't see very well, they like to increase their font size, but it isn't necessary when you have this little zoom slider. You can always zoom in a little bit more to see your document uh, in the display that you prefer. Down here at the bottom, this is called the status bar. It's going to tell you the number of pages and other information about your document. And below this, this doesn't belong to Word at all. It's part of your operating system. It's the task bar. Any applications that are open will be down here like this one. We also have rulers showing on this document. If they are not showing on your uh, screen in front of you, you can go to the View tab and put the check on the ruler checkbox and they will show up. Let's go back to the ribbon here. Some of these uh, commands, let's go back to home, some of these commands will have some drop down commands like a drop down menu when you click on them. Some groups here also have this little icon. This is your dialog box launcher. Uh, when you're 
Microsoft Word needs some more information from you, you can launch a dialog box and give it more information to do the task that you are asking it to, to perform. Let's have a look what happens when we select some text. We see that we have a little mini toolbar that opens and we can use this, for example, to change the font style or the font size. So we'll make this a little bit bigger, what we had selected. We can escape, hit the escape key, or we could click off. If you highlight some text and you right click, that will make the mini toolbar appear as well. You will also get some shortcut menus of some very common types of, of commands that you might want to access.